All right, everybody, welcome to Simply Bitcoin, the channel that breaks down all the daily Bitcoin news from Twitter, the daily fail, software releases, the meme review, and the websites by plebs. We've got it all. Drop us a like and subscribe. All right, we're kicking it off with the numbers. Clock Moody Dashboard. All right, we're currently at a block height of 660,826, the current Bitcoin price, 18,184. Chain rewrite days, 612, and the total lightning capacity, 1,071.28 BTC. Man, I, I can't complain. These are these are oh. strong numbers, strong consolidation. But unfortunately, to quote uh, someone on Bitcoin Twitter, the cock isn't coming out today. And what I mean by the cock is Satoshi, the Bitcoin chicken, is going to have to stay in his chicken coop today because the price of Bitcoin it still hasn't breached an all-time high. Oh. That being said, Phil, it's a perfect time for the daily fail. All right, so this is a tweet from Samson, but he's not the fail, right? Um, it's irresponsible to be raising questions about the central bank. You're undermining the economy. We're highly transparent. Time's up. Uh, time's up, you tax slaves. You know, GTFO. Okay, so essentially, this is uh, this is like a fine. Um, you know, like a parliamentary uh, debate, or you know, like uh, essentially like the budget committee in Canada, and. Uh, what's happening is, is that the finance minister is answering questions. Okay. The finance minister of Canada and just, okay. It's, it's interesting. Here we go. We are the people's representatives. Sure. Louis should know. So where did the hundred and million, hundred and eighty million dollars go? Madam minister. Mr. Chair, I want to be very clear with all members of this committee of the importance of an independent central bank in the functioning of the Canadian economy. And I also want to be clear that right. it is undermining of our economy to be raising questions in the minds of Canadians oh, about the independence questions. of the Bank of Canada. Yes, that is not responsible behavior. I, well, I'm sorry to be Mr. raising I'm sorry to be raising questions about where Canadians' money is going. Um, you might find that dangerous, but I, I'll ask one last time. Will you tell us where the $180 million that the Bank of Canada pumped into corporate bonds went? Where did it go? Uh, in no way does the government seek to conceal or keep secret the activities of the Bank of Canada. The Bank of Canada is a highly transparent, highly responsible institution. And I have a question for the Conservative members. Do they respect the independence of the Bank of Canada as previous conservative finance ministers like the late Jim Flaherty did? I hope they do. The Canadian economy depends on it. All right. Can I answer thank the you, question, uh, thank uh, Mr. You, Chair? Uh, no, you, uh, time's no, you up. can't. Sorry. All right, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm, Phil, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to just rip on this. What go. the go first. fuck just happened? I don't curse on this show, but that was absolute. What the hell? This is the same lady that's like, you have too many savings. You have to spend. This lady is a psychopath. Did you hear what? Did, oh, my God. I, did you just hear what she just said? Yes. He just you, said. You shouldn't, you shouldn't question. It's irresponsible for us to question the central bank. Okay? We're actually doing it. That, that's a disservice to the, to the nation. Okay? To question the central bank. Like, are you out of your mind? What is this? Is, is Canada a communist country, bro? No, that, that's, the, that, that is absolute bullshit. What the hell is going? And, yeah. and he asked a very simple question. Very respectful. Very. Yeah, Where, absolutely. Where'd it go? Where did the money go? I, I we can't we can't tell you that because it threatens the Canadian economy. Oh, how convenient for you to say that. How does that like, make any sense, though? Like, why should it even threaten the economy? Like, none of that makes any sense. Dude. You know, like this is the problem. And, and these people, they're getting away with making these ridiculous comments. That was absolutely insane. Yeah, that was. That was a total fail. Like a, a absolute like, you know what? You know, like I originally from Montreal, I obviously am still a Canadian, you know, and that it absolutely disgusts me. It, it's it's just horrible. You know, I, I completely agree. And holy Such a fail, holy crap, guys, thank God for <laughs> satoshi nakamoto yes. and bitcoin because that is absolutely insane yeah. to think that you could you are you are putting your hopes and dreams in the hands 
of that person, okay? Which not too long ago, which we also showed on Simply Bitcoin, said you're saving too much. So you know where that's going, right? So uh, Phil, let, let, let's just, just make the show a little bit, you know, let's, let's put everyone in a good mood. I think it's yep. time for the Daily Meme Review. All right, everybody. <laughs> All we're doing basically today is just we're just reviewing one meme because there is a crap ton of news that dropped today. So we're going to spend quite a little bit of time on that. So we're just going to review this one meme picture. And it's obviously brought to us. It's obviously I I love how uh, unconsciously I just said it's obvious, but it's brought to us by Bitcoin Meme Hub. And let's check it out. (laughs) So it's you, self-custody of Bitcoin, the government, the Fed. (laughs) Okay, I like it. I like it. Yep. Damn. Okay, I'm going to give that a very good score, Phil. Yeah. I like it. That that is very very well done. Very well done. Very applicable to what's going on. And uh Phil, I'm I'm, I'm again, I'm going to give that an extremely good score. I'm going to give that a 9. Oh my god. You and I, my friend, we are in sync. We are in sync. We are in sync today. Yeah, no, that is uh Yeah, I I agree. Why why'd you give it a 9? It was perfect. The messaging was perfect. It yep. perfectly applies to the times, to the things that we're going to talk about today. Just, yep. just how these regulators are just, just hyenas. Exactly what was in Absolutely. the pictures, right? Yep. So, it, I, I think that meme was great. It was the only reason I didn't give it a ten is because it wasn't a video, but it definitely deserved a really good score of nine. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, no. I was just gonna say, you know what? We may have to we may have to discuss doing like different rating systems for picture memes and video memes. That's a because really I good think idea. it's also unfair that like you know we can't judge the picture against the video. That's true. Tough. It's tough. No one's ever gonna beat the Matrix unless they make a better Matrix. Oh, but but they could they come they could come up with a better picture. Mm, you never know. I, I, I don't know better enough to discuss. Video though. Perhaps, perhaps we'll do a poll on yeah. on simply Bitcoin to, we'll to, to get out. everyone's opinion. And but Phil, I think it's time for the daily news, sponsored by Crypto Cloaks. All right, everybody, we got a crap ton of me. We got a crap ton of news for you guys today. Uh, Port, Pornhub comment on being dropped by Visa and Mastercard, right? And I just love the meme. <laughs> below this right bitcoin fixes this it totally does but why is this significant guys why is why is it significant that right you know we we're gonna obviously post uh pornhub's uh you know uh reply to that is what the hell does mastercard and visa why are they the gatekeepers people are making a living you know if people want to be a sex worker that's their body that's their choice what the hell why are you deciding who gets to get paid because you don't agree with the ethics and the morals of their career? F you, right? And this is exactly what Bitcoin was created for. What are your thoughts on this, Phil? Yeah, I, I mean, I th- this is just a terrible iteration of censorship. Um, Visa and MasterCard are nothing but payment rails and brand names, okay? They, they really have no business getting into this, number one. Number two, for the people that will read that article, you'll see that Facebook has a much more, uh, a much higher instance of the reason that was cited by Visa and MasterCard for discontinuing uh, the the relationship with Pornhub. So they were actually, they are actually, Pornhub being in the industry that they're in has actually been very proactive and uh, actually better at stopping, you know, child abuse on their platform than Facebook, which has much more problems with that. And yet, you know, Visa and MasterCard networks have no problem with the transactions. So because there is a Facebook, you know, there's obviously Facebook marketplaces and you can absolutely tie your credit card to your Facebook account. So I, Visa I, and MasterCard I, are getting a piece of those of those transactions. I absolutely So again, agree. this is just censorship and favoritism and just cronyism. I absolutely agree, and and uh, and a lot of a, a lot of the uh, you know the, those awesome workers at, at at Pornhub, which a lot of people enjoy, are gonna learn very quickly that Bitcoin is your friend, baby. All right, yep. so let's move on to the next piece of news. I, I find this kind of ironic. It, it, it's very funny, right? So Mass Mutual, which is an insurance company, uh, buys a hundred million dollars in Bitcoin. Bets on institutional adoption with five million dollar stake and and New York dig stake. So 
To be honest with you, Phil, I find it absolutely hilarious that an insurance company is buying Bitcoin as insurance. So, you know, what else is there to say about that, right? Other than I told you so. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, Phil, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah. If that's not endorsement, I don't know what is. The insurance company that buys insurance. I mean, that's that. that, that and what insurance did they choose? They chose the corn. So, yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> I just that, think that's great. Right. I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, you know what? I like this. <laughs> I, I completely agree. And uh, Phil, let's move on to the most important news of the day. Guys, this is probably the most important thing we've reported on this show, right? Um, this article is brought to us by Marty Bent uh, from Tales of the Crypt. Uh, they they do, they do the best job at summarizing exactly what was going on. Basically, uh, a couple members of the House of Representatives sent a letter to Steve Mnuchin, and I'm just going to give their names so Bitcoiners understand who who these guys are. These guys are fighting for individual freedom and sovereignty, right? So these are the members of Congress that did that. But basically, what's going on, guys, is there are rumors swirling around that Steve Mnuchin and his crew at the Treasury Department are going to move either to today or tomorrow to implement draconian regulations on Bitcoin exchanges, right? I've heard, uh, uh, they've heard of two different forms of rumored regulation. The first is described by the representative, uh, by Representative Warren Davis, Tom Emmer, Ted Budd, and Scott Perry is a full ban on self-hosted wallets, right? <laughs> That means it would be illegal to hold your own key, right? Yeah. To hold your own keys. The second rumor that they're hearing, right, is basically that exchanges will be for will be forced to make their clients confirm that they control the addresses that they send their Bitcoin to from the exchange. We've already seen this being implemented in the Netherlands. So it's not that too crazy to think that this is going to happen because it's already being done in the Netherlands, right? And I just want to read you a quote um, from... Uh, an ex-president, right? And this quote is extremely famous. And I'm just going to read it at that. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the significance of all this, right? And the quote goes, when tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. Guys, this is the most significant article and the significant, the most significant piece of news that we've ever reported on Simply Bitcoin. If these rumors are true, that Steve Mnuchin and his cronies are trying to pass a regulation that makes it illegal for you to hold your own keys. That is tyranny. That is basically destroying a fundamental human right for personal sovereignty over their financial future of not only themselves, but also their family and loved ones. As Bitcoiners, we have a duty to stand up to this unjust law. And again, I just want to reiterate this quote, when tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. Phil, what are your thoughts on all this? So Steve Munchkin is a fucking toolbox, okay? And I apologize for swearing, but but he is. He's a complete toolbox. And unfortunately, I think that the uh, the great effort uh, that these you know four people have put into this and that have decided to send this to him. I, I think, unfortunately, it's going to fall on deaf ears because um, he answers to a different master. So I, I do believe, unfortunately, that, you know, this is, th this is what we've been talking about from the beginning. You know, this is then they fight you. And, you know, we knew that they were going to put up a fight. And unfortunately, um, you know, they're not going to stop until they think they've won. Or until enough people wake up and simply choose not to, you know, partake in this system and choose to opt out and choose to help build Bitcoin. Absolutely. So and it's going to get to a point, guys, right? Again, either we're slave money or freedom money. Sorry. Exactly. It's either tyranny or freedom at this point. Right. And that quote was from no other than Thomas Jefferson. Right. So understand the significance of the battle that is to come. And remember, we're always going to cover it here, no matter what happens here on Simply Bitcoin. And Phil, 
what are the software releases for today, man? Because today's episode has been heavy, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Software releases. Today, we do have a pretty big software release. It is Zap Android version 0.3.6 beta that was released. And the details to that will be down below in the show notes. Awesome. Thank you, Phil. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Simply Bitcoin. I know that there is a lot of heavy news for today. But remember, you have the power. You have the power when you run your own node and you have the power when you hold your own keys and no one can take that away from you. And as a Bitcoiner, you have to stand up for your own personal freedom and sovereignty. This is Simply Bitcoin, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Bye.